they're so loud with it like it's just the animosity the anger the negativity it's just raw like it's ugh. channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and if you like what you see so far make sure you like comment and subscribe and check out some other videos after you watch this video but in today's video if you guys you know read the title this is a video that i might get a little a little rowdy in but i just want to make a video about it because it's a lot of people that's getting discouraged because of other people and we're not doing that but anyway, today I'm going to be talking about can you start a business in an oversaturated area of business, basically. So, everybody know we on quarantine, we on lockdown, we on whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people's jobs are closed, they doing layoffs, so people income is not coming in. So, the number one thing that people are doing are starting to start their own businesses or you know like starting their own business doing little side hustles or on youtube making hella videos <laughs> so people are doing this because they're you know their main source of income is cut so which i'm laid off i'm on furlough whatever it's called but anyway so a lot of people are taking it upon themselves to speak on the fact that how can you how can you start run and have a successful business and make money if everybody is doing what you're doing? That is the main question. How can you, this how can you make money when everybody everybody's selling lashes, everybody's selling hair, everybody's selling lip gloss? So how can you make money when it's ten other people doing the same thing that you're doing? So let's just get into all of that. Number one, which I always tell people, this is the number one thing that I always say: what's for you is going to be for you. Period. Period. If it's for you, it's gonna be for you. So when I say that, I mean if it's 10 other people in my city that sell lashes, it don't matter. Because if people want Sin City on their eyes, they gonna put Sin City on their eyes, that's period. Then number two, they not gonna have what I have. They not gonna have the same styles as me unless they buy from me wholesale, which <laughs> I, I do wholesale. Anyway, so it don't matter. If they want my mistress lashes they gonna come get mistress because they can't get mistress from any other girl in my city that's just that or which i don't understand well i do understand why this name is so used but i, I low key wish that i wouldn't have picked it but the name stallion i am kind of getting tired of seeing it but i mean maybe makes it popular but anyway so if someone wants to have my stallion lashes they're gonna come get they're gonna come shop with me and get stallion period that's just what it is. Also, if you hear me say period a lot, it's just because I'm getting very. I know you are. Right. Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, if they want a certain style of lash, they can only get it from that person. So that's that customer is gonna be for you. Another thing I had to get people to understand, I was breaking it down to a friend of mine, she buys wholesale from me. She was kind of like, you know, everybody's kind of doing this, you know, how am I supposed to do this or whatever. And I'm just like, understand this. You only have two, you know, a set of eyes, you have two eyes. You can only wear one pair of lashes at one time. But look how many different pair of lashes you have, not just from me, from everybody, like you, some people are the type of people that's gonna support everybody, regardless of where you're from, regardless of who you are. If you in my city and you trying to make it, I'm gonna support you. That's just how some people are. So I'm like, look how many different pair of lashes you have from different people. Like, you literally have lashes from almost everybody. So think of it like that. Like, you're gonna have people that's gonna support you because they love you. You're gonna have people that support you because they wanna see you do great. They're gonna support you because they see that you're doing good. So they're like, well, okay, I'm gonna trust what she got. Cause she not gonna be selling 15 pair of lashes a day if people if her lashes ain't no good. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like people gonna you know people gonna come people gonna come buy from you regardless if you the fifth person to do it. You gonna be the fifth person that they buy from, and that's just that. So that's another thing I had to give you know I be trying to get people to understand like people are gonna support like you're not gonna buy 100 pair of lashes.
collections and not sell one. Like somebody gonna buy something and you have to just worry about the people who are supporting you. Do not worry about the people who are naysayers. Don't worry about people who are negative. Cause nothing that I said, those people aren't gonna be the one to put money in your pockets. Them not gonna be the ones. And if they are, they gonna do it just because everybody else is doing it. They're gonna be the last person to buy from you. And don't be that type of person that wants to be like, mm, you was talking junk in the beginning, now you wanna buy from me? Nah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not giving you nothing. Don't do that. <laughs> Every dollar is green. We not we don't care who it come from. I've done sold the people who try to fight me. I done sold the people who talk junk about me. I done sold the people who I, I don't wanna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. But just know I done sold the people who did me foul. <laughs> Friends who done who smiled in my face and done things behind my back? I done sold to them, but guess what? They green dollars just as green as anybody else's. We keep it business and keep it pushing. So just remember that. But anyway, like you can you can sell in a very saturated thing. You see people like what's her name? I can't think of her. Well, we just gonna we're gonna skip to my one of my favorite YouTubers. Glamazante. She opened back up her clothing boutique online, her Glamazante. Um, apparel studio she opened that back up and she's making money but guess who she's competing against you got fashion over you got she in you got um wrong you got all these places that, that sell clothes and things but she's still making her money because she's not worried about them she's not worried about them because you can get you a, a cute outfit from fashion nova but you're gonna get you a cute outfit from Glamazante as well that you can't get from Fashion Nova. It's the difference. Like, and then you got people, she's a big, like, she has a fan base, a follower. She has a lot of followers. She has people who genuinely love her. So when she popped out with her clothing boutique again, people bought because people want to support her. People genuinely want to see her win. And everybody has that in their life. You just can't focus on the people who don't. It could literally be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, the person that you lay down with. Could be the one that don't want to see you win. But you don't have, you just can't worry about them. You got to keep it pushing. You just can't think about them. They could be your own parents. Because they want you to struggle like they did. Don't worry about them. Just keep your tunnel vision. You got a dream. You got a, a something that you're trying to work towards. Don't worry about nobody else. And it, it just kills me to see on social media that like, Instead of people wanting to support and get their people out of, you know, from a small town. Because I am from a small town. I am from a town where people rather see people who are already winning continue to win. And everybody that's not winning continues to not win. And it's sad. And it's really, it made me kind of, it's, uh, it's an uneasy feeling because for, for people to just be doing that now, it's just sad. Like, you rather for a person who is making $100,000 a month and they start a new business and you quick to pay $25 for a pair of lashes, but your friend from down the street is selling her lashes for $10. Same quality, might not be the same style, but close enough and you don't want to purchase from her because she's your friend from down the street and you don't want to see her do better from you. It's sad. It's really sad. And... It's, it's just sad like literally people are getting bullied online because they want to say how are you going to make money and you're like the third person that wants to sell lashes you're the third person that want to sell hair you ain't gonna make no money because they gonna be making all the money why did you have to say that to her why did you have to say that to him because we have a lot of dudes now that's getting into business that's around my area they're getting into doing different things i've done met people from not my like my area but like in, within my state that do that do things. I have a friend that makes that do custom shoes. I've never, I've never seen no one that I've known do that before, and that was that's amazing to see. But I have people who I call my friend that sell hair, that sell lip gloss, that sell whatever. And I always said like I will support if you support me, I'm gonna support you. I just bought lip gloss from my friend Shower. I cheered with her in high school. I just, just came in the mail. Her, I'll have her stuff in the description box, but. I just bought from her. Like, I want to support people. I have a um a friend that sell to do the custom, not the custom, but the charm bracelets. I bought from her because she buys from me. Like that's just I feel like that's how it should be. It shouldn't be no. I have a business and you start a business, but I'm not gonna support you. But you but you support me when I started. Like it's just it's a time. It's a time. And this negativity is just not cute. Like, it really just makes me sad. Like, you don't want to see your city win. Like, 
Atlanta didn't start being Atlanta until Atlanta started supporting Atlanta. Like, Atlanta didn't become big until people, you know, to all the people of Atlanta decided to, you know, to just be better. Like, when you hear the town that I'm from, with, and when people be like, oh, I'm from such and such, it's not no positive thing that come in your head. It's just all negativity. And it's, it's sad and it's true. Like, it's sad. And it, that's mainly, like, where all of this is coming from. Like, the place that I stay now, it's not really like that. And if it is, it's more muted. But my, the town that I was born and grew up from, they're so loud with it. Like, it's just the animosity, the anger, the negativity. It's just raw. Like, it's... Ugh. And it's so sad. Like, just shut up. If you're not going to buy it from me, just shut up. <laughs> I don't need nothing else. Like your point but like i said well i said in my other video i've been in business going on three years now i, I was like a juice, juice, juice. so this year will be four years it'll be four years this year but anyway i've been in business that long i have thicker skin when it comes to my business i do still get sad because one thing i do hate is being looked that second and I tell people, don't, you do not have to tell me that you went all around the world before you decided to come to me. Oh, this girl didn't have any more lashes, so I'm coming to buy some lashes from you. You could cut out that first part. Hey, I'm coming to buy some lashes. Let me know when I can come. Period. Hey, I want to get some lashes. Can you tell me your website? That's all I need. I don't need to know. Oh, I done talked to Susan, Sally, Linda, and Bobby before I came to try to get lashes from you. I don't need to know none of that. Period. But, anyway... So this whole rant thing I'm saying is because I can't I can't say this to every person individually because I don't know anybody I don't know everybody who needs to hear this individually. But start your business. If that's in your heart to do, start your business. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do any of that. Period. Like don't let nobody try to tell you that. Start your business. If that's what you want to do do it regardless of what's behind it if it's because you need some more income you just want to have a business you hate clocking into your nine to five whatever it is just do it is that what you really want to do do it don't let what someone else say stop you don't care what nobody else say my what i would say honestly the hell with that is don't tell nobody what you're doing until it's done don't tell nobody hey i'm, I'm thinking about starting my own hair business tell them when hey here is my hair business. Here's everything. This is what my hair looks like. Da 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 da. Oh, what they said? Y'all use your own photos. Do not use photos and videos from your vendors. Cause I've seen one girl. I know we have the same vendor. <laughs> we have the same hair vendor, and it's because she used hair like photos and videos from the vendor. I think we got the same lash vendor to be honest too. But I ain't gonna say that. But anyway, so just do it. Like don't. Don't let nobody tell you not to do it because I'll tell you one thing. Half the people that's hating, that's like, oh, she ain't making no money because she the 10th person to do it. They mad because they wanted to do it and people telling them that they can't do it. So don't let the cycle keep going and they'll stop you from doing what you want to do because they sad and they miserable and they bitter. Don't let it happen. But anyway, let's bring it back to the happy. That's just my brand on people can't make money, you know, when they selling everything. Cause like people be saying, look down the bread aisle. Look how many brands of bread there is and they all make their money, period. <laughs> period, look how many different waters you can get. It's all water, it's all water. But they brand, they market, they do everything different. So you gonna buy what you want, period. Like you gonna, you gonna get for whatever. If you want Fiji water, you gonna go buy Fiji. The next day you might go buy Aquafina. It's whatever, it's what you wanna do. You never know what's going through your customer's mind. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to hear more rants from me, because I have a lot of rants, y'all. Being in business, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> I can rant all day about everything. But anyway, if you guys like to see any more rants, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let your girl know I will rant for you. But anyway, so hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. This is Sin signing off.